I chase the lifestyle more than anything. Yeah. And everything I do in life is life is to get the lifestyle that I want. Uh, I bought a car and it was the, one of those things that impressive. And I was like, you know, like I bought a Maserati, cool on me, I did it. And um, he looks at me and he's like, you idiot. So if you're young, if you're wondering, you can become a multimillionaire before 30, then you gotta listen to today's video because I have a special guest who is 28 years old and also an immigrant came from India to Canada a few years ago and now crushing it as a real estate agent and real estate investing made you know a couple of million through real estate so stay tuned to hear his story and make sure you know comment below your questions you know what's stopping you or what kind of things that you would like to know from us and enjoy the video Arman Thank you for being here, man. My pleasure, yeah. So for people who don't know you, can you share who you are? Sure, uh, my name is Arman Anand. I go by Armani um, for my trade name. Everybody knows me as Armani in the real estate industry. Um, I've, been in, uh, I've been a realtor for about eight years, uh, doing it at the highest level uh, they could possibly think of in, uh, in the Canadian real estate market. Um, I do a lot of pre-construction sales. I have a team that you know does uh, developments now, and we're also into uh, um, you know buying and selling properties. And um, started with pre-construction, went off, went off into you know other aspects of real estate as every other investor goes yeah. off into because you want to try everything. Mm -hmm. So um, so yeah, that's just a little bit about myself. I I'm a big uh, big Raptors fan, big basketball guy. Um, you know I uh, yeah I just. I just, this and is, a little bit of star on a TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I have a TikTok for those of you who don't know. Um, you know, growing rapidly. Uh, just started off as a fun thing to start, but yeah, he's became, being very modest. Uh, no, it's no, no. like <laughs> ninety thousand plus followers on TikTok for a realtor. That's like for me, it's huge, man. No, so. Yeah, so we're growing rapidly. So yeah, know. for sure. You know, there's a lot to unpack there. He he's being very very modest. He doesn't <laughs> want to YouTube talk star, TikTok I, star. Yeah. <laughs> The reason I want to bring up that because a lot of my audience are like, you know, uh, people like us who are immigrants, yeah. you know, came from different country, yeah. um, love to build a career in real estate, you know, shine. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, that's the reason I want to get your story out there to mm -hmm. show what's the possibilities, right? right. So to, to, to take us back like eight years ago, why did you get into real estate? Funny story. So um, I came here as an immigrant when I was a kid and uh, my parents and my whole family moved here together. And then um, my parents were, you know, they're both doctors, but they were heavily involved into real estate because they used to buy properties and they used to renovate properties and they used to rent them off. And I always liked the aspect of, you know, looking at homes was ever since I was a kid because I used to go to the backyards. They used to, you know, take me to showings all the time. And I used was to like- here or in back home? Here, here. Okay. So since we came here, they used to go to showings all the time. They used to, you know, the realtors used to take them to showings. Yeah. And every time a realtor used to take them to a showing and walk them through the property, I used to look at like the realtor and I could read everything on the realtor's face and what his intent was. Because all the stuff that I would see wrong mm -hmm. as a kid, they would lie to my parents about it. And they'd be like, no, 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 just do it, just do it. And my parents being immigrants, you know, they're new. Yeah. So they, they would take advantage of it. And, um, you know, as a kid, I realized those things. I'm like, these guys are liars. I'm like, these guys, I don't ever, I never want to be a realtor. <laughs> but then growing up, slowly as going through all these phases and going through all these showings and the realtor saying, you know, there's something wrong with the floors. Oh yeah, yeah, easy fix, no big deal. The whole foundation's like this, right? And you don't realize those things as, as a kid and you're telling yeah. your parents, like, I don't like this guy. I think he's lying. I think you should look at the stuff. Then my dad's like, what, you're a child, so you know, just so, don't say it. <laughs> you know, respect your elders. So you do, you just keep your mouth quiet and, um, and that's where you, you know, I realized that there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of things I could improve on in this industry by becoming a realtor myself because I used to see the deficiencies of other realtors mm -hmm. that weren't, you know, honest with the clientele, that weren't doing the things they should have to, um, to, you know, to, to retain the client, to yeah, actually, yeah. to be happy, you know, to make sure the client's happy because at the end of the day, the customer, you have to make sure, you know, they're, like you have to give them all the details, facts right away yep. in front of them, right? Yeah. So don't lie to them, and that's something that I I picked on as a kid, and I'm like, you know what? One day I'm gonna, I'm gonna I can do this guy's job a lot better, and I'm gonna fix these things that I saw were you know wrong in other realtors, and um, yeah, and that's how the whole story started. Left university, um, dropped out of school actually. Um, mm -hmm. Went to university of uh, went to two different universities, bounced around for a bit. I was a big basketball guy, played basketball. And uh, I used to figure out, you know, where I can go play basketball and which university I could be a part of. And then I went to Trent University for a bit, 
went to a different university in New York. Absolutely hated school because every time every time the professor would teach me something, I would look at this content that they were teaching me, and I'm like, I already understand this. Um, so I dropped out. Parents weren't too happy about it, and then started real estate. And when I started real estate, my parents actually thought I was selling drugs <laughs> because my first year in real estate, I was doing insane amount of money that you know any kid in real estate at the time would be like, holy shit, how are you making this much money that fast? Yeah. And I bought, had a new Mercedes Benz first year. You know, new, I was lavish, stupid. You can say so, right? You're just young. So, trying different things. You know, that's that's interesting, right? Like you dropped out of the school and you got yeah. you became a realtor and you started to make money. Yeah. So how was your first year look like? So my first year was a lot of trial and error. Um, I actually started off with a partner of mine at the time. He was okay. a realtor for four or five years. Okay. Um, but he, you know, he wasn't really practicing real estate full-time he was just a part-time realtor had his license didn't do any deals okay and he used to work at a he used to work at a rbc call center okay and he told me he's like hey you know what and he's one of my best friends told me he's like i will quit my job and we will become partners but just tell me you want to be my partner we'll do we'll we'll, we'll do real estate full-time and i was like this guy's crazy he's making seventy thousand dollars a year why would you want to partner with the guy that has no real estate experience whatsoever yeah. because i had the hustle and the drive and he knew that we could make it work because we just had that friendship Mm -hmm. And um, and yeah, and then luckily, you know, the next day, eight o'clock in the morning, he shows up to my door. Just when you got your license. The day after I got wow. my license, okay. I passed my exam. I told him I passed the night of. In the morning of, he shows up to my door, eight o'clock, and I was sleeping. He goes up to my room and he's like, uh, "I quit my job." So We're here's the curious, <laughs> curious question on that one, right? Like, why do you think he would he would have done that? Like, why? Because I know the answer. I want you to tell me like what's what was the reason behind it like the drive, the drive the drive it was just the drive the want to succeed the the dire need to succeed it was just you know i so you were like always hungry for the always hungry yeah it was you know i had to prove myself to you know i had big shoes to fill because my parents are both educated my mm -hmm. my whole family is educated my sisters are doctors and you know like it's it's big shoes to fill and i had to fill those shoes so that's uh, that's the thing i was expecting because you know why you have this drive right yeah you know back home like especially yeah. indian parents either you got to become a doctor or a lawyer doctor lawyer or failure choose your <laughs> three right and i was always the number three so uh, you know because then fit the traditional mold of where i should have mm -hmm. been but uh from there then went off into real estate and and uh, so what do you guys used to do like you know you said you sold like a bunch of real estate at that time in your first year yeah what was your strategy at that time so you know going into that first year there's a lot of build up to that first year too because i was mm -hmm. i i didn't really know that real estate was that was not mm -hmm. the, the the main reason why i got into real estate i got into real estate because i enjoyed i had a passion for people i had a passion for showing homes and i loved property i loved like the decoration part of things like like this wall i like this is the most coolest thing because you can do these things to like mm -hmm. a, a blank space it's like a canvas right and i like those things you can you know you can add some improvements to a property and that's what attracted me to uh, to real estate because it really got my attention where i could showcase my skills of you know making places better and uh, dealing with people is always fun. I love yeah. it because it keeps you on your toes. It's, you know, there's new challenges you face every day. I'm sure you know, you yeah, know well, being in the industry for so long <laughs> now. So, um, but yeah, so going back to the question, it was, uh, I was a part of sales in, uh, in three, four other jobs that I used to do. I never really worked a nine to five. I always used to do sales jobs before to try to learn skills of sales. And then from sales and I ventured off into real estate and it was a perfect match. And, uh, God, so you, you, you came with some sales background, oh, some sure. sales knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah. And, and so now, you know, fast forward eight years, you, you're, you're successful as a realtor. And also like what I like about you is like you go, you're doing a bunch of investing. Yeah. So how did you get into investing then? Um, and so, why? So very good question. So when you're making all this money, yeah. right? And the first year and two years, you see, you had a more humbler approach because you were actually smarter with investments from day one. <laughs> I, no one taught me what to do with, you know, with the money that I was making. Cause I couldn't tell my parents I was making that much money in the first year. Cause they would look at me like, oh, this guy's doing something wrong. Cause I didn't want to tell them I was doing real estate. So they found out later by hiring a private investigator. Which is a story. <laughs> different, different story for another day. But, um, but yeah, so with all this money that I was making, I was being very stupid and foolish in my first couple of years. Um, you know, I bought a Maserati right when I was oh, wow. $100,000. I was like, went to the dealership, bought a car for $100,000. Seriously? Oh, yeah. How old are you at that time? I was, uh, 
Shit, that was this is this is back. This is like five six years ago. Yeah. So yeah. So how old are you now? I'm twenty twenty eight years old now. Twenty eight. Getting old. Wow. Well, so, <laughs> that's one thing I love, right? Like you know, if you're young, like that's the thing. You started pretty much like when you were twenty one, twenty two. Yeah, I started when I was twenty 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 three. Twenty three. Like yeah. you know, that's the thing. Now. Start early, as early as possible, especially with the sales. Like you yeah. know, you'll have a lot of energy and a lot of you know enthusiasm. That's yeah. your that's your uh, you know investment. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's a, that's a very key point. The earlier you start, the better, right? And there's no better day to start than now. So if you're looking to get into real estate, I would honestly say just get into it, try it out, see if it's for you, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah. So going back to our you know conversation of investing. So mm -hmm. you're spending this. You bought the Maserati. What happened next? Bought a Maserati, drove straight to Detroit through oh, Windsor. Oh, and then okay. <laughs> <laughs> went to Detroit. Uh, went to my uncle who lives in Toledo. I love my uncle. He's my role model for everything because mm -hmm. he's the only person that's a business person in my family God. that I looked up to my entire life. So, so the third person, the failure. <laughs> yeah, the failure. He was the he was the he was the failure in my family. You know, before before me. So yeah. But he's the coolest guy because I always saw him. You know, doing whatever he wanted. He used to show up to Toronto whenever to see us on random days when our parents were working, everybody else was working. He would be here and he'd be like, let's go play golf. Let's go do this. Yeah. Let's go shoot guns. Let's go, you know, let's wow, go do martial yeah. arts. But I was like, this, my uncle's so cool, right? I want to yeah. be like my uncle. I want to I have time. Yeah. And uh, the time part of the things is what really attracted me towards being my own boss it's yeah you know real estate gives Love you the that. flexibility yeah you wake up when you want sleep when you want even though we don't yeah. get any sleep yeah. because <laughs> <laughs> In this business, sleep doesn't exist. You know, I, I recently <laughs> I saw an Instagram quote somewhere like, I, I quit my 9 to 5 uh, because I don't want to work 9 to 5, yeah, but now I'm working 24 7. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Like, but you know, it's, 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 that's the thing, right? It's on your schedule and, yes. and you're not capped with your limitations. Like 9 to 5, you know, my, my salary was like 80,000. Maybe I can go for 100 or maybe 150. Yeah. But with this, you know, when you're being your own boss, yeah. either you can, you can go really high exactly. or you can go down. Exactly. <laughs> and the main thing is this, like imagine if you wanted to go on vacation with your wife, right? Yeah. How would you go on vacation? You would have to ask and ask somebody, hey, can I please go on vacation? Yeah. Who do you have to ask now? Nobody. Nobody. Just hey, Expedia.ca, we're there. You know, yeah. like that's, that's <laughs> freedom, right? Like, yeah. That. So yeah, so then uh, just took the, took the car to, straight to my uncle's place in Toledo and I was like, I bought a car and it was one of those things to impress him. And I was like, you know, like I bought a Maserati, cool on me, I did it. And um, he looks at me and he's like, you idiot, why did you buy this? He's like, go return it. I'm like, I can't return it. He's like, number one rule. And he sat me down, I, I, I was, you know, I'm sure this is my role model, but he taught me a very valuable lesson. He's like, it's good to make money, but he's like, it's better to know what to do with the money. And that is a thing yeah. that nobody really shows you and teaches you. Yeah. And it's a trial and error. I learned the hard way. Um, I was very foolish with my investments from, you know, I didn't have any investments. I just used to buy, take my money and just buy fancy things, going sp expensive dinners. Um, you know, I had a very lavish lifestyle at the time, but um, toned that down, sold the car, which is, you know, I'm a big car guy. So for me to sell that car was uh, a piece of my heart that was taken away. <laughs> But you know, now look like uh, five years, six years later, it's thank God I sold that vehicle because you know, I didn't buy any other expensive vehicles. I invested my money like religiously. I put my money into investments, made my money work for me. And so, yeah, I, I love that man. You know, everyone need to have that mentor, yeah. that rich dad. You know, for me, the rich dad was like the book I read, rich dad, poor dad, poor dad yeah. that mindset, that was the first book I read, like, right. you know, just like how your uncle told you, like that book told me, like, yeah. you have to like, you know, do this, yeah. buy the assets rather than liabilities, right? Yeah, 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 so, exactly. Love that. So from there, like you sold your car and what did you invest into? I sold my vehicle, I invested into pre-construction. So okay. pre-construction, um, so it's pre-construction for those of you who don't know, it's when you're buying literally a development which is not developed yet. So you're buying a, a like a piece of paper with development plans and you're buying into the developer to say, okay, this is the house I'm buying or this is the condo unit that I'm buying, which will be built years later. So that's what I bought. Yeah. And um, you know, at that time I didn't have a lot of um, you know, I, I was very young and I didn't have mm -hmm. a lot of knowledge of the mortgage industry. Yeah. So my first couple investments were always like a savings plan. I just used to put money away into development projects. One, two, three, four projects. That, that's a cool thing about pre-construction. Yeah. You don't have to qualify, especially no. when you're like one year, first year in the real estate. Exactly. And, yeah. and the big thing for realtors is you have to be in the business for two years for you yeah, to qualify for income, mortgage. Yeah. 
and your is, self-employed income has to show that enough exactly income exactly and the bank wants to see that you're consistent at making this yeah. money so they have to they wait two years or more for for you to take that income um, yeah. into into play so you know i second year in i couldn't qualify for mortgage for two years and second year in i started investing i started, bought like three four condos with the developers i was working with at the time wow and um oh my god i wish i bought 10 more because now <laughs> looking at those prices, uh, they were pretty much practically free. And, yeah, uh, yeah. You know, and, and I thank myself every day from that time. I was like, thank God you made the smart decision, bought something. So, you know, that, that's that's a cool story. Like, I, 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 one of the reasons I wanted to have you here is only, you know, not only your like story of getting into real estate sales and all, mm -hmm. but like your real estate investing strategy, especially how you started with this pre-con, right? Right. So. You know, what would you suggest someone who is like looking to get into pre-construction? Yeah. You know, uh, what are some of the things that, you know, was the reasons for you to, you know, um, put all your money into those pre-constructions? Well, uh, see, one of the main reasons was mortgage, as I told you before. Yeah. And the other reason was I didn't really... I uh, want the active lifestyle of managing properties. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing for me was because I, I, I chase the lifestyle more than anything. Yeah. And everything I do in life is life is to get the lifestyle that I want. So I don't want to manage tenants. I didn't want to pay mortgages, repair roofs. I didn't want to do those things earlier because yeah. I wasn't ready for it. I wanted it flexibility, yeah, to, yeah, yeah. right? And I just wanted to just invest and just have my investments grow passively in the background mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, you know, eventually worry about the mortgages later. So, and that's what I did. So I used whatever savings I had. I used to put them into, you know, different, different uh, developments for different mm -hmm. developers I yeah. liked. And um, yeah, I ended up being really well. And four years later, I would close a property or mm -hmm. sometimes I wouldn't even close. I would just assign the paper to somebody and get my cash and, you know, investors like triple or four times. So. And so that was making like, money on the market. Exactly. And that's where, that's where my brain went. Tuck. That was like that. Like, okay. <laughs> you know, I should have done this a lot longer ago, but um, you know, could have, would have, should have. Best days to do it now. Yeah, exactly. And from yeah. that, my life changed. And, then, yeah, and thank you for helping me get yeah. through pre-construction for myself. <laughs> no worries. No worries. I, I see that fruit, right? Like yeah. I, I got my first one, it was a year ago. A year ago, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, just pretty much the same reason like now I'm getting into a place where I initially started to have a lot of activities right. and now I, I want to have like just focus on my business yeah. and have less on the investing side but I still want to have the investments exactly. growing for me exactly because you know yeah. we know as a realtors like we know how powerful the real estate is 100% yeah. no matter how much active income you make you you want to have own in real estate 100% because your wealth is built through yeah have you started have you done this any of these things with your parents money or with your money no so my parents you know I my parents love me they were they're always there to support me but I wanted to do everything on my own and they always <laughs> wanted to lend a helping hand but I never took one because you know I, I was making really good money in my first year and never needed any help and then yeah. um, eventually you know I my parents gave me all the values blessings and you know the, the principles they taught me in life which made me the man that I am that's more than the best investment that they could have ever asked for from them so yeah that's exactly what I want to you know show you right like if you were thinking you know or you want to get into investing or sales or whatever there are people have done it yeah. and uh, do, do you feel like you have any other like special skills other than like no honestly there's it's it's just the drive anybody can do it and any single person can do it as long as you're motivated and you have a cause and a reason why to do it if you're lazy it's not gonna happen it cannot happen you yeah know, just wishing it did because we see a lot of people in the industry yeah the, the, the stats are very clear a lot of realtors 90 percent failure rate yeah and you know 95 percent of realtors only do zero to one deals a year and that's a very big fact yeah because they just yeah and it's just because they just hold their licensing and they don't do any work because they just if you're not hustling you're not getting anywhere exactly yeah. so again you know that's that's super powerful man yeah. and 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 fast forward you also got into Windsor. Oh, I love Windsor. <laughs> I, I, Windsor is uh, the the secret oasis of life in Canada. It's like it's you've been in the best market, best city, period. And you know I'm I'm following I'm, 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 I'm following suit. So yeah. I'm moving to Windsor recently in about a couple of days, uh, which is going to be a big relocation move. I I love the city so much. It grew and became such a big part of my life that. Uh, you know, I'm moving to the city now, so it's uh, I'm very excited. So, why did you started investing in Windsor? So I started investing in Windsor because when I actually came here a couple of years ago, 
I bought one property in Windsor and I saw the intense cash flow I was getting from that yeah, property. Yeah. And from that one property now, four or five years later, we're at X amount of properties. It's yeah, and people. also if you haven't seen our 17 unit building, building, that's yeah. the one we bought together. So yeah. that's also a cash flow. Big, yeah, now, big, yeah, yeah. big, big building. Um, that was a big project for both of us. And it's still work work in progress, but yeah. we're doing really well on that building. And yeah, we're already at like almost three thousand per month cash flow oh, yeah. at this point. Easy, easy. Only with six units renovations, we have like eleven, 11 more to go. go. <laughs> right. So it's um, it shows you the potential of what the city has. And for you know, person I lived in Brampton my entire life, being on that side, I you know, it's it's people think it's a downgrade in lifestyle being here. I think it's an upgrade in lifestyle because you get so much more freedom and flexibility being yeah. here. Because now I have so much passive income and so much cash flow. Plus, I have Detroit. Windsor is a very nice city. Lakeshore, Amherstburg, LaSalle. If you haven't seen those areas, you guys will be mind blown. So, like the uh, Lakeshore area, especially. Mm-hmm. It's, like, uh, <laughs> it's the best area there is. Yeah, it's probably like, we'll do your home tour again. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, we'll that's another it. mansion. Yeah. <laughs> it's in a, one of the best neighborhoods. Yeah, and it's it's a beautiful city that's been like that. No one really knows about, but I didn't even know being here in Windsor for four or five years that that place existed. Yeah. The second I saw it, I bought a house here, I sold my house there, and uh, and and yeah. So Windsor is a it's a great city for people to invest in if you're looking to invest best world secret that's hidden in Canada especially. Yeah, so. yeah. I love that man. Again, you know, definitely we'll, we'll chat more about your home I, I and yeah. we'll, we'll chat more about like your investment strategies. Future like videos. Yeah, more, yeah. Many, many more to come. So, so again, man, I really appreciate yeah. uh, Definitely there is a lot more to dig from your <laughs> strategies. I'd love Always. to get into more details, specifics about pre-con in yeah. the next video. Yes. So stay tuned for more videos with Arman. Yeah. And, and you know, make sure you follow him because he has some cool TikTok videos. <laughs> I, I love that. I always follow them. Bro, thank you so much. No, no worries. My pleasure. Aditya is one of the biggest realtors in Windsor, period. And if you guys are looking to invest into Windsor, this is a man that owns the city. So thank you. <laughs> literally, um, you know, the person that you want to contact and, you know, just follow us for more content. There's a lot yeah. more stuff coming. We're going to be Knowledge, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So much we'll more be making a lot more content, you know, yeah. talking about investing, sales, yeah. different stuff. You know, Pre-cons pre-con. coming in big yeah, into the yeah. city now. So. so make sure to follow and yeah. see you in the later videos.